Neil, it must be a really good feeling around the place today after a, a, a great day Saturday. No, it's, it's been obviously much better weekend, better for everyone, uh, supporters uh, mainly, and uh, obviously all the players. Uh, myself, it's been obviously much better weekend, but it's surprising to say, but even when we haven't had a good result, the players have, have always come in and been positive. Um, I think it's it's hard sometimes to, to get that message across, but um, I think they, you know, they're they always train well, um, but unfortunately, sometimes that's not reflected in the, in the performance on a Saturday. But but um, there's very few times I can remember them where where they've you know not responded well in the training. That means a lot to you, doesn't it? You can, you can tell on Saturday that in times of criticism that your players have played for you. Well, I think um, what what you want is. You want to have a group of players who, who you can trust, and, and, a, and a group of players who are willing to to go out and work hard. I think um, that's the minimum. But but you want to see that as a manager. I think there's there's lots of things which are they can't control. You know, like um, sometimes you might play against a better team. You might not get the luck. You run of the ball. You make a decision against you, and they're all things you can't um, legislate for. But but you can get your own performance in terms of effort and commitment and working hard. You need to have that spot on every game. So, if I wasn't to get that, then I'd, uh, you'd have to say, well, you know, there's no no point in being manager if they're not going to respond. So that's always the the first thing you you look for. Um, but you know, the players at times they've they've not performed as to what they can do, and I think that's sometimes frustrating for a manager um, because they are capable. At times, but um, consistency's been um, hasn't been there this season, and and obviously, I've never known. I, I could probably go back in all my career, but I've never known a, a a stat where you've got the worst defensive record at home in terms of goals conceded, and the best away from home of goals conceded. <laughs> What, what's the, what's what's the key to, to, to this home and away from? Because it's not just goals away from home; it's results away from home. And miles better than they are at home. What what's the the problem there? Is it is it maybe something to do with the crowd? I don't know. Well, I'd have to say there's no way that we we don't approach a game differently at home or away. Um, I think you'd normally get criticism. I've <laughs> been. Um, I think we've had criticism that we've that we've been defensive at home at, at times, but we were, it would appear that we're too open because we were letting in too many goals. <laughs> uh, you know, so it's it's it, it is strange because, like I say, um, it, it, we, we've conceded more in three goal, three home games than we have in all fourteen away games. If you say you take three, you know, three games, and 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 it's just re really strange because. Um, and and you can't if you could put my finger on it you wouldn't we wouldn't be conceding the goals we are but but obviously that that is the key because we have to keep some clean sheets at home to give us a chance to win games and we, we've had a lot of games we've conceded early and um, and that's obviously you know shot us in the foot and we and we found it hard to recover from that. That said. How much thought went into Saturday's team selection? Because it was a different shape. And when everyone's guessing about who's going to replace Tom Pope, Miller came in and, and the likes of Dodds and Whitfield were nowhere to be seen. I think, um, you know, I went I went to watch the the game at Mansfield. I've seen how they set up. I, I obviously always look at... Um, you, have, you have to consider who you're playing against, but... I looked at the own, my own players and what would be the best balance. I looked at the fact that we didn't have Popey up front. I felt that we had to play more football. Uh, certainly had to pass it more and get the ball down and play. And if you're going to do that, we've got to start from playing at the back. I think that's the key. And So therefore, I had to pick a team which I felt was the, the best club to do that in terms of being comfortable on the ball. Um, and that's why I, I picked that team. Um, I think with Ricky Miller, you know, he's for, you know, I signed him. I think I said at the start of the season, I felt he could score goals. 
and and we've we've gone into the the you know he hasn't been at his best um there's no question about that he hasn't played to the level that uh, I know he can do but he's not the same as is not every player is the same not every player has the same um same sort of um I have to I have to watch my words but but not everyone's built the same mentally and, and physically not everyone's the same some players have got problems more problems maybe off the pitch than others so it's not an exact science and um I would have to say that um there's been times where I have been frustrated with them and there's probably other players in the team who feel they probably deserve a chance ahead of him but I vote the reason I sign him is because I know he can score goals and um picked him on Saturday to do that and he got us a goal and now he has to put together a run of form and if he can score the goals then we'll get results and obviously it will lift the lift the pressure on everybody else that said on strikers where are you at with your latest deal to try and sign one yes we've got a striker who's coming in on loan he trained today and they're doing the paperwork today so we expect we can announce that tomorrow on the flip side some not as good news Adam Crooks James Gibbons both unavailable for tomorrow Crooks because he's already played in the competition Gibbons is suspended big blow given the performance of the weekend it is really because you want to try and get a once you've changed the formation it would be nice to try and get a few games where where they can obviously get better at playing in that formation and you're forming new partnerships and you know, I don't get carried away because they've had one good game. They, they they need to do that over a number of games. So it would have been a good test for them tomorrow. But we've got to make the changes. And he's not somebody that's had any praise this season. But James Gibbons, I would say, in the last few games, has has been excellent. I thought on Saturday he had a really good game, and he's been back to to the levels he was when he first came into the team last season. And I'm really, really pleased because, like I've said, uh, people like like James are the future of the club. I think I've, I've already said he, he he can have a a long career here, um, and I'm delighted to have him, him back in the team because, like I say, people like him and Nathan Smith, who I know are local, but um, they give you everything, they give the club everything, and you know. Whatever, no matter how they how they play, they'll always give a hundred percent, and that's invaluable, you know, to to myself, uh, especially at the moment. Looking at the competition, then, how are you finding the run at the moment? Is it a welcome distraction, not too far from Wembley either? I draw. You know, I'm pleased we've got the game. I think uh, we want to. We've set out from the start. We wanted to try and get as far as we could in the competition. It's been a good competition for us so far. And we want it to continue, so we'll be going there positive. Uh, we know that um, they're going to, they'll play a strong side. Um, they'll be looking for a reaction from their game on Saturday. Uh, but we have to go there and be positive. And I think I said in the interview last week we needed two results to change our atmosphere around this place. And we've had one, and we have to get another one tomorrow. You fancy your chances, your team, even though they're a league high. Um, I think we we have to go there. Positive. We've got to go there and try win the game. So, you know, it doesn't matter if we play in the team, at whichever league it is, we have to be positive, um, and we we've got to set out to win the game. Wembley be a motivation for the remaining league games as well, because if you can get a step further and people are looking at playing at Wembley, then surely it's kind of going to kind of motivate them to be playing well in the yeah, league. Yeah, I, I don't. Well, it's never a bad thing, is it, if you can get to Wembley? Um, so we want to stay in the competition. We know. You know, any, any, I think. Well, if we can just if we can go back to what we we said, our away form has been good recently. So, I don't think we're looking at as a, a negative that we're going away tomorrow. We're we're quite happy to be to travel and playing away. So, let's go there and let's be positive.